Is the market warming up or is we cooling down like the Florida weather is today? Stay tuned to find out. Hey everybody, Tim Beigel here with Watson Realty. And I'm excited to share this week's Market Monday update with you on this beautiful day in Florida on Martin Luther King Day. And by the way, help, happy MLK Day to all those out there. So let's go ahead and get started. And trust me, uh, the data is interesting. So we're two weeks into the year, which is, you know, it's kind of hard to believe. Thinking we we're 2022, now we're 2023, but here we are. So two weeks in, well, let's go ahead and look, take a look at the data. So starting off, we got Orange County. Um, so as you compare it to last year, we actually did some increase in the month to date for actives and pendings so far this year. Um, Solds are creeping up to still far cry from what we did in 2022, but we're only two weeks in. And I'll be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if our sold for January is less than sold for 2022 because the fourth quarter was extremely slow in the area. A median sales price is higher still than last year. And the median rent actually inched up a little bit. And the days on market is now at 37 days. Now moving into Seminole County. Again, actives are inching up, pendings are inching up. Uh, solds are also inching up towards that number. We're halfway through the month, but we're not at a halfway point for solds yet. Uh, median sales price still below what we were last year, just barely. And then median rent is a little bit higher by about almost $200. And then 39 days on the market compared to 10 when we were last year. Jumping on over into Lake County. Um, we have 1,537 actives currently. 301 pendings and solds are 146. And then the median sales price jumped up from 334 to 363 so far. And then 2150, so median rent is still slightly higher than what it was last year. Biggest thing was days on market compared to last week's stats to this week did drop by about two weeks. Uh, Volusia County, same thing. Pendings pretty much are jumping up pretty high. Solds are increasing as we expect as the month goes on. Days on market dropped down to 43. Median rent still above what it was last year. The median sales price about staying even with January of 2022. Now I'm jumping on over to Osceola County. Osceola County, we're still $20,000 above what our median sales price was last year. $200 above what our median rental price was. Pretty steady on that so far for the month of January. Days on market is at 32 days. So three times what it was in 2022 for January. And then actives are at 2,372 active listings with 276 pending. Now, a little bit of what I saw from the jump of numbers. So again, we are two weeks into the year. Today is the 16th. So this is literally past the two week mark. And pending homes have doubled over that period. So what that's telling me is people are out there shopping. This isn't a dead market. These are people coming out of the holidays. Their goal for 2023 is home ownership, whether it's to upsize, downsize, or buy your first home. And some could be first-time home investors. Um, we've also started seeing the days on market drop, which of course is homes are pending, days on market's gonna come down depending on the speed of those. So we're seeing that number drop and some of them that were last week for the month of date was shown in the high 40s, they're dropping down into the 30s. So you're shaving off about two weeks based off that. Now keep in mind, some of that data is coming from the solds that are closing from December of homes that went pretty quick. Um, and the biggest thing I gotta tell you is do not believe the doom and gloom that you're gonna see in the media. Um, look at the statistics and then make a judgment call for it. Uh, I had somebody yesterday tell me that they were informed by another person in the industry that this market is heading for a bad recession and that we're going to be just as bad off as we were in 2007, 2008. But the statistics and the data does not show that. I would love to have a conversation with that person to kind of debate it out. 
but the data is just not there. You know, do I think we're going to slow down a little bit? Yes. Are there basically lane bumpers like at Bowling that's going to protect us from the 2007, 2008? Yes. Is 2023 starting off to be a little hotter than most anticipated? I can't speak for everyone else, but I know my phone's ringing off the hook. So based off that, it's kind of like a leading indicator and then the sales will hopefully be the lagging indicator. So, but, you know, look at the data, make a decision. It's not a doom and gloom scenario in the real estate market as some say. Now, highest sold home for 2023, we changed from last week. A new one is $9.7 million. It's located in Orlando, 32836. It's actually in Golden Oaks at Disney. So it's very Disney themed. It's got mouse ears everywhere. It's got a little jacuzzi with a jet that's shaped like Mickey Mouse's head. So five bedroom, six full baths, two and a half baths, 9,700 square feet, beautiful home. It was built in 2016, very secluded and a gorgeous pool. Yeah, breathtaking. Now, if you want to connect with me, here's a QR code to get my information. Please connect, ask questions. I would love to hear from you. If not, I'll see you next week on our next Monday market update. Looking forward to it.